Good morning, everyone. This is Lindy. I wanted to um, talk about tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. It always becomes today. Next month never comes. It's always today. So, in my world, today is the most important day. So I live to the fullest in that day. No matter whether you're rich or poor, we all want to survive. We all want to feed our children if we have them. We all want a, uh, something over our head to live in. We all want food for the table for everyone in our family. It doesn't matter where you live inside the world, this world of ours. We all want the same thing. If we're just ordinary people, we're not politicians, we're not wealthy, we have our problems, we have our daily lives, and our reality is there's no guarantee for tomorrow. And I think I've spoken about this before, but I think it's important for us to remember, no matter how much money you have or don't have, that everyone is going to pass away. We cannot escape from that. However, I think it's really important in life we have something inside us I call it a spirit a light something hope whatever it is we need to keep alive it makes us happy so I call it dreams my dreams I have a five-year plan that five-year plan <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be around in five years. I go, oh, I'm going to be alive for five more years. And during that, I'd like to do this, this, and this. doesn't matter if I, I succeed or not. It keeps my spirit alive. It makes me happy. It makes me look to the future that I still have a future at 75. Once you give that up, then you pretty much give up on life. So... I want everyone to have something, a dream, to keep their spirit alive and working and happy. And, and whether you reach that dream is really not important. It's the dream itself. I guess I'm not trying to lecture you. I'm, I'm trying to give you my feelings. Today is very hard for all of us. We're having a very hard time, a hard time all over the world. The U.S. is not having as hard a time as some other countries, but we're going it's going to get harder. And don't forget, you have to have that dream. Again, it's not important whether you reach it or not. I hope that you do. But that dream keeps that flame or that spirit alive for you. And I want that for you. So I want you to have your dreams. I want you to succeed. Regrets are just regrets. They're just a waste of time. We all did, in our lifetime, any action we took, anything we did, we did to the best of our ability with the knowledge that we had at the time. Now I'm 75. I have a lot more knowledge than I did when I was 20. So I'm not going to regret what I did when I was 20. Regrets are just a waste. We lived our lives the best we could with all the information that we had at the time. I, I don't look back and say, oh, I wished I could have, I, I, I should have done this. No, I did what I wanted to do at the time, whether it was right, wrong, doesn't make a difference. I had a certain amount of knowledge and I acted with that knowledge. So I want you to be happy and not look back and if you look back just learn it's just a learning experience but you did and lived your life the best you could with the knowledge that you had and with that you should be happy you should be happy and you should keep your dreams alive whether you get a van or you don't get a van it doesn't matter it only matters to you but you may not have the finances but it's still a dream don't give it up don't give up what you want to do or think you want to do it's a dream that keeps you alive makes you happy 
and colors make me happy and having a dream makes me happy and my YouTube channel makes me happy so I want that for you too so um, it's just a little I don't know if it's advice or just a, a life experience that I'm I'm giving you from what I'm learning and how I feel about myself this is just me this is who I am and how I think one of the ways I think you know some of the ways I think are not you know, kind of crazy but I just wanted to have that talk and um, I hope everyone is doing well and trying to stay out of the heat it's going to be 97 today and it's already 91 in the van with all the doors open and three fans going but that's the way it is that's life in the big city as I call it old-fashioned way so um, I hope that you you're dealing okay with the heat I know everybody's got it all over the world I hope you're dealing okay with food and with housing and you are making the best you can out of not a good situation I wish you well and I thank you for subscribing Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you next time. Camo.